गुड मॉर्निंग माई लवली स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू योर साइंस क्लास स्टूडेंट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग टूडेज टॉपिक आई विल रिवाइज ये टॉपिक दैट इज फ्लावर्स एंड फ्रूट्स नाउ स्टूडेंट फ्लावर्स फ्लावर्स आर एट्रैक्टिव एंड मोस्ट ब्यूटिफुल पार्ट ऑफ अ प्लांट समटाइम अ फ्लावर नोन एज ब्लू और ब्लॉसम सो स्टूडेंट different flowers are of different colors shapes and size now flowers are reproductive parts of a plant flowers are grow from buds on a stem and flowers grows and becomes fruits now fruits fruit is a fleshy uh, edible part of a plant fruits contain seeds now student today i will teach you about germination of seeds let's start student first i will tell you about seeds okay now seeds most of the fruits have seeds some fruits have one seed now student there are many different kinds of seeds some make only a few some make a lot of seeds and some fruits have only one seed student yesterday i told you avocado and mango have only one seed okay now some fruits have more than one seed now nice student seeds are of different colors shapes and sizes so the color shapes and size of the seeds varies now nice student seeds grow into new plants so, student a seed is the part of a seed plant which can grow into a new plant it is a reproductive structure which dispresses and can survive for some time seeds are often hard and very small but some are large seed carry the food that help the new plant begin to grow okay now we also eat some seeds like wheat gram chickpeas and kidney beans now, student many kind of seeds are good food for animals and human beings the many kinds of grain that people grow such as rice wheat maize gram chickpeas and kidney beans are all seeds seeds are often inside fruits now student germination of seed okay now germination of seed a seed contains a baby plant a seed needs soil water air and sunlight to grow into a new plant okay now the process of growth of a new plant from a seed is called germination now student the life of a plant begins from a tiny seed okay uh, the seed is protected by an outer covering called a seed coat the seed contain a small baby plant called an embryo now student conditions required for the 
growth of a seed. Now what's conditions? First need moisture, warmth, nutrient rich soil, sunlight and water. Okay, you know a seed need soil, water, air and sunlight to grow into a new plant. Okay, now clear? Once these conditions are satisfied, the seed begins to grow. Now, student, germination of a seed. You can see in this diagram, the seed absorbs the water from the soil and provides moisture to embryo. The plant cells inside the seed start duplicating enzymes get activated okay now embryo start getting nourishment now the first sign of growth is a tiny root which comes out of the seeds with more and more nourishment the embryo start growing now embryo start growing now student eventually the growing plant you can see here the growing plant burst open through the seed coat is search of sunlight to start its own process of photosynthesis once the seed coat falls off okay now falls off the root starts growing downward you can see here the root start growing downwards to anko the seed and to search for more food and nutrients from the soil now food the shoot also start growing now you can see here the shoot also start growing upwards to towards the light soon we see a baby plant with tiny leaves you can see here with the tiny leaves this process of the growth of a seed into a plant is called germination now student once again what is germination yes the process of growth of a new plant from a seed is called germination student today i told you about germination of seed i hope you all must have understood today's topic so student homework read today's topic carefully have a nice day thank you